Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, Tucson. We are in the building. We are in the house at the studio, 106 The Groove. Listen, good morning to you on this Saturday morning. Um, I hope that you are uh, getting ready for the Fresh Start Show with Dr. Holt and my co-host, Tom Cortez. Listen, it's, it's an exciting day. It's a wonderful day. It's a beautiful day. Um, and you woke up this morning, and you should be grateful on today. Um, listen, we are here, and we are excited uh, for this great uh, episode. Um, you know what we do every uh, every Saturday morning, give you an announcement about our expo that's coming up in October, so please keep it locked. It's going to be October the 19th at the Tucson Convention Center from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. We got the courts. We got the county attorneys. We have the uh, public defense attorneys. We have uh, your city courts, justice courts, superior courts. Uh, we have employment. We have housing. We're doing expungement on felonies, seal your records, uh, restore restoration of rights. I mean, it, you name it. We're helping people squash warrants um, and to pay, help them with their tickets and their court fees and fines, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars <laughs> we have helped people. Uh, we always have people to ask us, well, is this really true? Like, are you guys really doing that? Or are you guys just trying to uh, set us up so we can go to jail? No, that's not what we're going to do. And I, this will be our fourth year uh, coming to the T. I can't even believe that. No. That sounds <laughs> crazy. Our fourth year. We're but we have our own day. Yep, yep, we do. We do. We have our own day. Um, fresh start day. Um, <laughs> thanks thanks to uh, Mayor Romero and City Council. Um, from last year, uh, from this last year of uh, giving us our own uh, international day for the city, um, and so we're just excited. So we're looking forward to seeing our brothers and sisters come on down and get the services uh, that that we need. We are still working on our empowerment clinic date for this summer, so still keep it locked. We got people doing vacations and all of that, so we're gonna figure something out to get you get us a good uh, date for the summer for our empowerment clinic. So keep it locked as I'm working on that date right now with the goodwill. Uh, but listen, we are excited again for a great uh, episode. Today I got a special guest, which is my good friend. Uh, we worked uh, together in some years with Tucson Unified School District. He is an educator uh, and administrator of 30 years plus in the game of education. He was formerly in our area, our neighborhood and community as the African American Student Services Director uh, for TUSD, having the charge of overseeing our black kids and their progress and all of that that comes with it. And uh, he is no uh, stranger to our community. Jimmy Hart um, is our guest on today, and we are excited to have him to be with Fresh Start with Dr. Hope. What's going on, Mr. Hart? Let's go, let's go. I'm excited to be here on Fresh Start. This is awesome. I've watched the platform uh, for some time now, and so just excited uh, that I'm privileged to uh, sit in this seat and, yeah. and engage with you. Uh, definitely looking forward to all that you have coming up. Man, uh, I have a special place in my heart for uh, Mr. Jimmy Hart uh, because of the fact that uh, you got to turn this mic around so we can hear. All right. Can you hear that? All right. So... Uh, yeah, so a lot of people see Dr. Holt all over the world, all over the nation, uh, doing this kind of work. But people really don't know the story that uh, when I was a nobody trying to get my get my work out here, uh, Jimmy Hart and TOSD was some of the first that took a chance on me um, to, to give me a chance. I know y'all going to be shocked to hear that. So I'm putting it out. <laughs> I'm being very vulnerable and transparent. I know right now I'm Dr. Hope. The trauma doctor's in the house. But before I was all of that, <laughs> I was just DeMond Hope uh, trying to make a difference in, in people's lives and kids' lives. Um, so I'm taking it way back in the beginning. We're talking about, good Lord, I think I, I did my first work TSZ in 2015. Wow. Um, and it's 2024. So we always talking about, like, about mm -hmm, nine, sure. ten years ago. Um, so uh, no, brother. I think you got to go back another year or is two. Is it another year or two? When we did the, the first event at uh, Project Moore. That's right. Wow. That is wow. right. So yeah, we talking about what? That's 11, thirteen. Thir thirteen. Yes, yes. Good God Almighty. Man, Project Moore's been around Good for hundred years. Good God, and he years, right. Man. Yeah, that's how it started. Because you know, I remember Adelita said, <laughs> yeah. "You got to do something in the district when she came." So so yeah, we were taking it way back. Project Moore yeah. days. Wow. Yeah, so let's talk into that space. In the panel, it was just great. 
Um, I, I knew, uh, had heard about your work uh, through, I think, a, a, a mutual connection of us. Yeah. Uh, that was uh, Mayola Coleman. Yeah, Mayola. And uh, I said, you know, I got to collaborate with this, this brother. And uh, after Project Moore, you came in and we talked with the young men. Yeah, yeah. We, we had about a group of uh, 15 young men. Yeah. And it changed their lives. Yeah. Uh, wow. some, some guys went from, some, some young men went from, you know, fell in all classes and fighting all the time to getting back on track, graduating, uh, having post high school opportunities. Wow. So wow. we had some fun stuff. Yes. Um, all right, so you want me to jump in and talk a little bit about what I do? Yeah, yeah, so let's let's get to it. So let's talk about, well, let's talk about uh, your 30-year-plus career and closing out as the uh, uh, African-American Student Service Director. And what was that journey like? Yeah, so 31 years in education. Uh, it, it was a f great, fun experience. It's prepared me today to be, you know, an education consultant and do what I do now, including uh, author some books um, but serving uh, this last role, I also had uh, Asian Refugee Student Services for three that. years during, during, during the 13 years I was over African American Student Services. Um, at the end of the day, it's all about how do we uh, walk in purpose daily as often as possible. And in this case, uh, in, in my last uh, school district position, the goal was to support the needs of, of African American students. Um, to the best of my ability, and we put a lot of great programs in place uh, that I'm grateful are still continuing uh, to this day, uh, from uh, leadership development to scholarship opportunities, STEM initiatives, parent events, Impact, Impact Tucson, Tucson is still Tucson. going on. <laughs> yeah. You know, neither one of us are there, you yeah. know, but it's still it's continuing still on. That's so right. Right. it just goes to show to, uh, to, to, to when you have a, a vision, in this case, I'll say God-given vision, and you've got right partners with you, um, yeah. and, and your heart is right, um, it continues. It continues on. So it was a great, great experience, a great ride, and it's prepared me now to do the work that I'm doing now uh, where I can make greater impact. Um, as a classroom teacher, I was able to impact the students that came into my classroom. So as a middle school or, or high school dropout teacher, I had you know, 150 kids at most then becoming a principal, I can impact the whole school, one school. Uh, so a school may have anywhere from, you know, 400 to 2,000 students, 3,000. Yeah. Um, and then as a district employee, you get to impact initiatives across the district. In my case, I was working with African-American students, but our works went far beyond just African-American students. And now in this work, serving as education consultant, I have an opportunity to impact many districts across the states and across the country. So that's what I'm really excited about is just walking in this idea of purpose, looking at what is what is my what is the next thing that I'm supposed to be doing to make impact. And the other piece with with all that we did uh, in my work uh, uh, prior to retiring yeah. is now we can do things citywide. So we just had this we just had this young men's leadership symposium. We had students from 28 different schools, six, seven different school districts. And so I'm just grateful for the opportunity to, to and expand. And you this with Aaron Scott, correct? Yeah, yeah. The, 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 and that's Pillars our nonprofit. And that, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, that's us. Uh, so he's, he does a lot of stuff. Yeah, but we have, a, we have, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we have a nonprofit called Strengthening Community. Yeah, this, so, yeah this is yeah, their yeah, project. Wow. Yeah, and yeah, so what we yeah. did is we brought uh, Good Brothers and Heart Global Industries together. And it was an he had an idea and I had the same idea and we happened to talk about it at the same time. And as opposed to doing what normally happens What's a novel in, approach? In Tucson. Work together. It, it, exactly. And that's <laughs> what I was going to talk to instead of us saying, you know what, you yeah, got the I idea, I got the idea. We're going to do our own. Yeah, yeah. We're going to do our own. Yeah, we're going to do our own. We decided to put it together. <laughs> exactly. And it's been a blessing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You know, yeah. last year was a blessing. We didn't know what we didn't know. Yeah. Uh, but it came together. Yeah. And the other piece that came out of it was it was multi-generational and multi-ethnicity. Yeah. And so it just goes to the power of collaboration mm -hmm. yeah. And, yeah. and partnering. And then this year, the same thing. This year, our enrollment went up even more. Nice. So we about doubled the number of young men that participated. Um, so I appreciate you asking that question. I'm just excited about the uh, opportunities ahead yeah. uh, for my work and just taking all those experiences uh, in those 31 years of education uh, with me. So let mm. me ask you this, because a lot of times we don't understand that 
when you have a, a a powerful destiny, you know, God has allowed has to allow us to go through some basic training experiences, right? Mm. And a lot of times we were like, "Why it gotta be so hard? Why mm. why the difficulty has to be so crazy?" So let me ask you this: What was transferable from your thirty plus years as an educator, plus as an administrator, all of the hardships and the difficulty that came with that, did you start seeing the light now what you're doing that what you experienced was very necessary to go through those things that help catapult you to where you are today in your season of life? Yes, definitely. <laughs> mm, definitely. <laughs> you knew what the answer was going to be on that one mm. um, number one though is a lesson my dad taught me and I've written mm. about it in every book I've written and that is you never lose being kind Yeah, mm. that's something that's my right. dad taught me uh, during a very difficult situation in my 20s Yeah, and I've always held on to that and it looked like the odds are against you and you're losing, but at the end of the day, he said, "You you never lose being kind. It's never failed. Yeah, yeah. you know, it's never, it's, it's never, it's never failed, and it's it's a right spirit. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's a right spirit. Uh, the other uh, lesson is, man, there's so, m- yeah. <laughs> there's mm-hmm. so many. As you as you elevate. You just gotta get used to. It. People gonna talk about They're you. They gonna talk about you bad. Mm. People gonna talk don't about you. Don't know you. People gonna say stuff. Don't know you. Don't know the on. issue. People gonna say stuff. Oh so, man. So you <laughs> just you just gotta get used to it. You know, and it, it's a sign it that you. It goes with the territory. It goes with mm. the territory. Yeah, and if you yeah. don't want to be talked about, guess what? You can go close up in yeah, the, in the do closet. Nothing. Don't do nothing. Don't be impactful. Yeah. Don't be impactful. Yeah. Be real safe. <laughs> yeah, Nobody will talk to you. Yeah. So so that's a big lesson. And then the other piece is really. Being grateful when people are willing to jump on board with a vision that you have. Yeah, yeah. You know that that's a big piece because nothing happens in isolation. That's nothing right. great happens that's in isolation. That's right. And so th- those are some of the big lessons. Yeah. Uh, that I take away uh, yeah. with this with this work. Tom, <laughs> anything you want to share? Yeah. yeah Tom. Actually, my my question goes back to even before the educational history of that you have in teaching and all administration and everything as a kid. You know, and you touched on with your dad, but was there? Did your heart come out of that as a child, seeing other kids suffer, or you personally suffering? Tom, I love you asking that question. Uh, yes. So a lot of who I am today is a result of my my childhood experiences. Yeah. You know, I was fortunate to have a father. Mm. So in all my years as an educator, and even now, like the Male Leadership Symposium, yeah. how can I help? fill that gap for as many boys as possible yeah. um growing up i grew up i'm a product of tucson arizona you know there's few african americans who can say they born <laughs> in <laughs> tucson arizona and from yeah. here um but i had a great sense of community growing up uh till this day a lot of people know who i am hmm. uh because of my my family my parents and so i bring that to the table as well that sense of that sense of pride that sense of commitment that sense of I have to continue the mantle in the, in the best way that I know how because of all those who have sold into mm. me yeah. before. So, yes, I do bring that with me. And every opportunity I can give to another youth or child or family is a result of that. Mm. Uh, for example, uh, I'll just give one example. Uh, I, I was able to pay for my, my children to get tutoring when they needed tutoring. Mm. Every family can't do that. Yeah. So what do we do? We created some partnerships with yeah. the University of Arizona and other organizations to be able to provide free tutoring for students. So yeah, that's it's my childhood is an extension of who I am yeah. today. There was times I got in trouble as a kid. Um, guess <laughs> really? What? There was some. There were some other people there who who stood in the gap. Yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, there was a time when I was nineteen where I really messed up. Yeah, you know, and, and you know, I I'd, I'd stand before the judge. Yeah, yeah. And there were some other people who stood in the gap and said, hey, he needs to do this. Praise Let's God. put this in place for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So like when, the, uh, you know, Dr. Damon Hope uh, came in, we worked with these boys. It was that same thing. Mm-hmm. Let's save these young let's men. Save yeah. these young men. Yeah. You know, let's, let's get them on track. Because yeah. 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 if not, they, there's a pipeline of prison. Yeah, there's a pipeline. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Oh, there's a yeah. pipeline of prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and speaking of that space, you know, us being um, – not just as practitioners of the work, 
but I see us as see us ourselves as guardians as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I really believe if I didn't have, you know, I had I had daddy issues. I know we mm-hmm. looked at, you know, yep. we talked about we both had our daddy issues, not having our father there, uh, biological fathers biological, in place. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Thankfully, God put certain men in our yes. lives to to be guardians and things of that nature. Uh, that helped me to be what I am today. I still don't think, you know, and I think God has been dealing with me on that, is speaking more about my story, uh, being more personal. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody see the professional side and the talent, the the, the, the orator, the communicator, the deliverer. Um, the but singer. I, the singer. <laughs> <laughs> But no, I I think that, you know, I'm excited to see your growth. I'm excited to see your transition, this new season that I'm seeing you in, and I'm liking it. Mm. And and I'm still going to keep pushing you. I want to see a Dr. Hart at some some point um, to to, to get get that that letters behind your name. I know you write right there. uh, But, hey, but people don't know, doctor degrees is hard work. It's it will work. whoop your butt. It's hard work. Mm. Yeah, it's and hard work. That's right. That's right. Yep. But listen, Dr. Doctor, the future Dr. Jimmy Hart is doing some great work uh, mm. um, as a consultant. I want my colleagues to, to see this show and to see him. Um, that if you want someone to come in doing next steps. And, and let's talk about real quickly. we got eight minutes left of the show. Okay. Talk about your framework what yes. you're doing now that mm. and your books that you have. Awesome. Yes. So our framework, and this framework was gifted to me. I always have to acknowledge uh, Clifton yeah. L. Talbert, yeah. who gifted it me. He's been a longtime mentor uh, to me and uh, gave me the space and just passed it on to me. But our framework is Ray, R-A-I. It's a very simple framework, and it's respect, affirmation, and inclusion. And the thing about that framework, those three words require action. Uh, In order to be respectful, we have to do something. To affirm and include, we have to do something. So that's our framework. And so we like going into organizations, schools, school districts. Uh, We like going into businesses, nonprofits, and and helping your organization thrive at living out this idea of Ray. And the thing about Ray, uh, it doesn't matter if you're 5, 45, 55, or even 85. We all want to be respected. We all want to be affirmed, and we all want to be included. And that is the framework, and we get there through this book called The Eight Habits of the Heart and Eight Habits of the Heart for Educators. Uh, Eight Habits of the Heart is internationally recognized. Uh, Clifton Talbert is a a Pulitzer nominee. Uh, The Eight Habits of the Heart was requested reading by uh, Nelson Mandela, uh, John Wooden, the great basketball coach at UCLA, and uh, someone who most recently just passed away, Sandra Day O'Connor. So this is tried and true uh, materials and, and information. And sometimes people think it's uh, like soft work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we got to do that work. We spend yeah. so much time, and this is something else I've learned in my 31 years in education, we spend so much time in products and processes or what the new product is or who wrote this article. And it wasn't really vetted by a whole lot of people, but now we're shifting and we're doing this new program or software, and we don't spend as much time as we can on the people. And so this work is designed, uh, like Dr. Holt's work, is is to help us to be better people and to w- give us a way of how we get along and interact and work with each other. And I just recently published a book that goes along with it for students. Uh, this book is uh, Championship Mentality, Timeless Principles for Student-Athletes. So it's taking the eight habits and putting it in a format that is relevant uh, to student-athletes, uh, something that they can work with with their coaches yeah. Uh, today wow wow this is just awesome yeah i got a few of his books he's uh uh doing doing his thing writing more books and doing some great work let's get jimmy hart into some of our school districts mm-hmm. um not just here in, in arizona but throughout the nation um i'm thinking about some districts that's really having some challenges right now you know uh when we start doing the big districts like a detroit um chicago and la and atlanta um, Baltimore, uh, we could stand to get Jimmy Hart uh, framework um, into uh, your school districts. And I want you uh, to go check them out. What's your website? Where can people so go? So website, jimmyhartglobal.com. So it's J-I-M-M-Y-H-A-R-T global 
com and uh, have lots of information out there. Uh, something we're real excited that uh, I'll be putting up on our website. I uh, just did a promo video with Tanker Verde yeah. School District. Their governing board adopted our framework, so that's pretty big. Yeah. When a school district adopts your framework, uh, all of their employees have been trained, uh, so we're excited about that. I, I appreciate you giving us the opportunity uh, to share yeah. um, all that we can do to, to make our society better, uh, to to build up and strengthen the future ambassadors of our society. Yes. You know, the people that are going to be taking care of us uh, one day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If we do our job right. Uh, I want to close on the note that, I, you know, and I have a core value. I do it in all my work, including Fresh Start, is we're better together. That's right. Um, and we're not competing against each other. And I do believe that God gave me this platform, not just for me and Fresh Start and my initiatives, but bring other people in the community that's doing some great things that nobody knows anything about. No. Um, and true. use our platform to get your product out, your vision, your mission. And, and I think that's another reason why, you know, God bless us, Fresh Start, is because we want to have a platform to say, hey, we got blind spots, too. We don't have, even though we're doing some great work, we don't know everything. We can't solve everybody's problem. It's too big. It's too big. Not one, not one organization can do that. But if we all come together like a village. And we bring somebody like Jimmy Hart on, on to the scene and talk about the Ray framework alongside Dr. Holt's uh, trauma resilient schools mm -hmm. and restore the practice framework. When we start bringing all this stuff together and be like, doggone it, we're just better. We're not competing, mm -hmm. we're completing yeah, each completing. other. And, and that, that's very, very powerful. Tom, join in, tell us what's going on. Did, and then I'm going to have Jimmy Hart to close yeah, out. Every, with, everything I'm hearing from you guys, it, it, it brings me back to that ACE circle. You know, when you yeah. ask the questions and you take a step into the circle for each one that you answer, yes. When we show the kids that they're not so different from the other kids, yeah. then they realize all of the bias and the prejudice that they've been raised up because bias is the enemy of truth. Yeah. All of the things they've been raised up with, they're not true. We can move forward equal knowing that, you know what? You had problems with that too. I have problems with that too. It doesn't matter what we look like, what we're shaped like. If we can move into the center of the circle together, we can become whole. Yes, yes. And that's what I'm hearing you guys talk about. And yeah. for us from this background, yeah, that we scream for that and have been screaming for it our whole lives. But s some people just don't know the language to speak to us. Yeah, and, and we are not just in our specific works, uh, but um, in, in our expertise, but overall, we are guardians of equity work. We are guardians sure, so. of of making sure the equity and diversity is not going anywhere right. um, and making sure that that is infused um, into the work that we're doing as well. Um, and the, Jimmy had the responsibility of overseeing an, an equity department as well and making sure that uh, kids of color, African-American kids, um, were getting their due justice on being successful by looking at those inequities and how do we uh, fix those marginalizations uh, so that they can be successful. So we're mm. excited. Thank you, Jimmy Hart, for being with us. Until I want to give you uh, a good 30 seconds of a close. What what can you tell us? What 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 should we be seeing Jimmy Hart doing? What's the expectation? Again, thank you for the platform. This is exciting. Uh, our work is summed up in in an acronym: ACTS: uh, Authorship, uh, Coaching, Training, and Speaking. And that's X. Um, reach out. We'll be putting a uh, how to publish, self-publish your book. Uh, we'll be having a workshop here in the next few months. Uh, hit me up on my website. Uh, you can find me on Facebook. Even uh, send me a text, 520-247-9963. Uh, if you're interested in learning how to self-publish, uh, and it's not just about trying to make money. It's also about leaving a legacy. Amen. Um, I helped my mom publish a book because it's about leaving a legacy for her grandkids and great-grandkids. Uh, thank you. All right, all right. So we're closing out. Um, so thank you for joining us. Remember, I just released my 11th book. It is Black 11. Trauma. My what Happens to Us. So go check it out. It's on mm. Amazon right now. We're doing a Black Trauma Symposium in Phoenix at their first Institutional Baptist Church on May 18th. Uh, so join us from 11 a.m. to 12, 30 p.m. If you're in the Phoenix area, know some people there. Or if you just want to come up and join us uh, from Tucson to Phoenix, we'd love to have you. So, all right, we're out. In the meantime, find somebody's church to go to. 
because Amen. God's been good to you. Um, remember, continue to keep pushing on because everybody deserves a new beginning. Fresh start. God bless. Take it.